Good afternoon, everyone. It's wine o'clock again here at the Wine Man's. In today's wine review, we are going to look at the Elysium Black Muscat from Andy Quaddy in California. In this video, I'm going to tell you all about this wine, what it tastes like, what it's good with, and why this cheeky little bottle of amazing Black Muscat is such a fantastic wine. So let's start with Mr. Quaddy. Andy used to be a pyrotechnician. He used to set fireworks off all over the place and he was very, very good at it. Now he sets fireworks off in your mouth in a very, very different way. He decided he wanted to pursue his passion, which was making incredible dessert wine. And he started off with the orange muscat that he calls Essencia. And this is a beautiful little wine. He did that first in 1983. And then he started tinkering around with all sorts of other different things, such as making a Californian port style wine. Now, the interesting thing with the Elysium, this uses the black muscat grape. And what happened was, one of his neighbours went to him one day and said, ah, oh, the local church doesn't want our grapes anymore. It's stopped making them sacramental wine. We've got all this fruit. What can we do with it? We hear you're really, really good with orange muscat. Have you ever tried black muscat? And so Andy went away and thought, well, what can I do with this? So he took the grapes, he crushed them gently, he allowed them to ferment for just a little bit, then he basically chucked some brandy at it just to stop the fermentation process. He then left it in some oak casks for a little bit of time. I think it was three months in oak casks. Then it was all purified and vinified and, and chucked into bottle. And the result, wowza, the result is this incredible dessert wine. So the beautiful thing with this is, it's got sort of rose petal -y characteristics. It's got a lychee sort of aroma as well. It's got an adorable sweetness to it, which is not cloying in any particular way. It's got a delightful little acidity with it. That means that this wine is fabulous with blue cheese. Brilliant with things like clafouti or any type of dessert, but amazing with chocolate. How many wines can you get that work well with cheese and chocolate? This is one of them. I mean, the love heart on the front. That just tells you exactly how much I love this wine. That's 15% in alcohol, as an awful lot of dessert wines tend to be. So you don't want to drink too many half bottles of it, but it will reward you again and again and again. I think this wine is absolutely remarkable. I think you'll love it. As I say, if you're thinking the old school thing of dessert wines, hey, they're sweet and sickly and cloying, this is nothing like that. This is absolutely fantastic. Lovely acidity, beautiful fruit complexity, and it's the sort of thing you can give to anyone. In Australia, they call them stickies, mate, where they can just use them to refresh your palate and just, you know, just have it just beautifully on its own if you want to. I think it's remarkable. I think you're going to absolutely love it. Highly recommend this. Cheers.